In this video, we will focus on creating different types of metals, otherwise known as conductive materials. Alright, let's start with a blank standard material. Metallic materials do not really rely on the diffused layer for their color, since they reflect a great amount of light that hits them. Let's choose a dark shade of grey and then move on to the reflection layer where the majority of our work will be. Since we have no actual color data coming from the diffuse layer, the reflection color is the place where we will set our base color. I will also load a texture to introduce some variation and mix it with the color. Let's do a quick render. Alright, I think that works. Before we move on, on to setting up the glossiness of our metal, let's set up its overall reflectivity. Metals are generally interpreted in V-Ray by removing the diffuse and giving the shader a high Fresnel value. For the Fresnel, we can adjust the index of reflection parameter which is used when calculating the Fresnel reflections. Let's unlock the index of reflection since we don't need a refraction layer for this material and enter a very high value, something around 130 which will give us a metallic appearance. Ok. We are getting closer to our final look. Now we can go back to work on the glossiness. Once again, I will use a combination of a slider value and a texture input. A value of around 0.7 or 0.78 should work nicely. Let's mix it with the texture as well. giving more influence to the bitmap, something around 0.7. Let's have a look now. Alright, what we are missing now are some slight irregularities, so let's add them as well. Since we have a normal map already prepared, let me switch the bump map type and let's load in the texture. Remember, using small values in this channel is essential, so something around 0.2 should work nicely. Let's do another render now. Ok great, let's move on to our second material now. For this one, we are going to focus on the thick borders surrounding each pentagon and create a rusty metal for those. Approaching this material with the same strategy as the previous one, I'm going to first create a dark greyish metal. This will serve as a base for our rust to sit on top of, so we will also keep it simpler. Let's aim for rough reflections and load a black and white texture into the bump map slot so we can have some slight surface definition. Let me do a quick test render now. Alright, now's the time to create the rust. Let's 
Let's load the texture into the base diffuse layer just to give it some slight color variation. Moving to the reflections, I want a brownish color and a high IOR value again. Something around the 60s should do. Finally, let's just slightly lower the glossiness so that it appears more rough. The one major difference for creating our rust material is that I want to make some parts of the material transparent. Let me load the texture I prepared for that in the opacity slot. Alright, now both the base material and the rust material are ready. To combine them together, we just need to use a V-Ray blend material. Create a new blend material and then let's place our first material in the base slot. Then simply activate the coat material slot and let's drop our rust material inside. And now we can see that we have our base metal material with a coat of rust over top. Now that we have seen how to set up metal materials and combine more than one of them together using very blend material, let's move on and continue exploring more shader types in the upcoming lessons.